hand. Praise you, Lord. Ephesians 3. Eight through twelve. Now, when that comes, this is really for the purpose that it came. This is the entire purpose that the Holy Spirit came on the church. To me, who am less than least of all the saints, this grace was given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God, who created all things through Jesus Christ. So if anybody can never tell you that Jesus Christ wasn't there in the beginning, you can take him right here and it'll tell you. He was right there. It was created through him. It says, to the intent, this is the purpose. This is the purpose. It was hidden from everybody all the way up to the day of Pentecost. It was hidden. They didn't know it. They wanted to know it. They died and longed, the prophets longed, to see what this was. Oh, yeah. The intent that now, the manifold wisdom of God, that oh. is the many varieties, the many very differences of the wisdom of God. Huh? How many ways he goes forth and does different things. That's what manifold means. <laughs> that God may be known by, let's see, let me read that again. To the intent that now, the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church. By who? Church. By the church. To who? The principalities and powers in heavenly places. It's according to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. In whom we have boldness and access with confidence through faith in him. Therefore I ask you that you do not lose heart at his tribulations which is our glory. All suffered for us as well. A lot of times we'll look past the suffering of the apostles. They suffered for us as well. Yeah. That we can have today. See, this belief, this belief, we can boldly come with access and confidence through faith in Him. Mm -hmm. And He'll give us what we ask. Mm -hmm. He'll give us what we ask. Yeah. But that, this is one of my favorite verses about the power and the wisdom of God. Mm. That it's to be made known by the church. It's to be made known by the church mm -hmm. to the powers, to the devil and the demons and all those that sit in their heavenly places, in their seats of authority, over our nations, over our schools, over our cities, that the church, the wisdom of God will be made known by the church. Amen. And that we would one day be lifted up Amen. And they would be put down Amen. and thrown into the fire for all eternity. Mm. Praise God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. That's really where I want to end it up from the Word. But I don't believe we're threatened. Anybody who feels they have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you would come up tonight. I pray that you would come up and let it, Brother Darrell, Pastor Darrell, and Brother Lewis, if y'all would come, and if anybody would like to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. There's many that have had a baptism in water, and you've confessed as an outward sign that you're, you belong to Jesus. Hmm. But that you're walking, you feel like you're walking powerless. You feel like you're in defeat consistently. I believe tonight the Lord will put on you the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe that your life will change. I believe that you won't even be able to sleep because the Lord will be speaking to you in such a great way. Mm -mm. And trust me, there's nothing, there's nothing greater than that. Mm. So if there is anyone here, I'll let the Lord guide your heart into that. You know better than anyone your circumstance. You know better than anyone the battles that you're facing. Hmm. If you're going uphill and you feel like you're constantly sliding down, I believe that the power of God may be missing in your life. 
if you're not sure if you've ever been baptized in the Holy Spirit, and I'm not talking about necessarily with evidence of speaking in tongues. Everybody doesn't do that right off the bat. Everybody doesn't do that right off the bat. Mine didn't happen until I was home by myself. Mm -hmm. right? Amen. But I knew it was God when it came. Mm -hmm. But if there's anybody in this room tonight that would like to be baptized in the Holy Spirit of God, have the power of the Lord come on them, and to know Him in a new way, I pray that you come on up. Amen. I just praise Jesus tonight. Praise God. Father, I thank you, Lord, that the words have been spoken in this house yes, tonight. Lord. Yes, Lord. So down into the hearts of the people here tonight, Father God. Lord, let them not leave the same. Mm -hmm. Let the touch of your word, Lord, and the power of your spirit sink deep into the hearts, Lord. Till the soil of their hearts. Make an impression, Lord. Bless you. We come here to bless the Lord. Mm -hmm. We come here to praise His name. Yes, we come in this place to speak the truth. Yes, Lord. And I pray that the truth has gone forward. Mm -hmm. It's come from His Word. Yes. We just bless, honor, and praise you, Jesus. Praise you. Believe the Lord. Lord. Anybody that needs prayer. Anybody needs prayer tonight? 